Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a video showing off the Android 4.2 keyboard uh, with some swipe technology. I'm going to be showing that off. First of all, I do want to talk about uh, you having the ability to install it yourself. At the moment, uh, there is a leaked uh, APK file out there. I will upload it and post a download link for you guys on QBKing77.com. But just keep in mind it might not work on your device. I believe it's only Ice Cream Sandwich and Up that it works on. And also if you are on a ROM uh, running a stock AOSP ROM or if you have a Nexus device then this might not work. You might have to have a custom recovery to install it actually. And uh, I don't have a zip for that. So just kind of keep that in mind. This is generally only going to work on um, devices with the uh, manufacturer overlay. But anyways, uh, now to install it, all you have to do is download the APK file I've linked to in the description of the video. Go ahead and download it, transfer it over to your device, and then go ahead and uh, select a file manager, whether it's My Files or ES File Explorer, anything like that, and find that Latin IME Google signed APK, select it, hit install, and it should automatically install. This is a Galaxy Note 2 that I am installing it on. It says application is installed. Go ahead and hit done, and it depends on the specific device you are in. You can go ahead and go into settings, and then scroll down, you'll see language and input. You need to make sure Android keyboard is checked. You can tap on settings if you'd like to. You have various settings. I'll get to those in just a second, but you do want to set the default keyboard to English Android keyboard as well. So set that by default, and then we can go ahead and check it out. All right, so here it is, the uh, new 4.2 Jelly Bean keyboard. Uh, looks very similar to the Ice Cream Sandwich and Jelly Bean keyboard you know and love now. It is one of my personal favorite keyboards for sure. It looks great. Even when you tap on uh, a letter, it brings up a nice little icon above it with that nice light blue uh, Ice Cream Sandwich Jelly Bean theme look to it. So you can use it like just like a normal keyboard. You can say, hey there, how are you doing? Question mark. So you can use it just like normal. Uh, that is one option, but now uh, a new included uh, little option is kind of like swipe. If you've used swipe before, great. If not, no big deal either. So what you want to do is press, uh, let's say you want to say hey again, H-E-Y. So just don't let, let go of your finger. So you can say hey there, how are you doing? And there you go. So that has a swipe option as well, uh, which is Awesome, that's very cool. You also notice a little icon up here above while you're swiping. So if I wanted to say a word such as giraffe, G-I-R-A-F-F, -F, and before I even go over to the E, it recognizes that I want to say giraffe. I can just let go and giraffe shows up. So that's just something neat that shows you what it thinks you're going to say um, and what's going to come up once you let go of that, uh, let go of the screen. So again, if I wanted to say something like Saturday, Right there, Saturday shows up, Draft Saturday, if I wanted to say something like Google, G-O-O-G-L-E, and it doesn't come up. I don't know if Google is even in the dictionary, I can try that again, but if you do have a double, you want to just kind of do a little squiggly over the letter that has a double, so you want to do G-O-O-G-L-E. Oh, it is in there, so it just kind of, I went a little bit too slow. So, uh, you also have some various settings, of course, you have a, a symbols as well, you have, um, the obvious uh, voice to text feature as well with the microphone there. You can press and hold on the microphone and it goes into settings. Go to Android keyboard settings. You have all the basic ones, auto capitalization and such. On the uh, the main settings screen, you can turn off next word suggestions, which was a new feature of Jelly Bean as well, where we can go back to that actually. If you, if you say, hey, space, you see there it comes up just because it recognizes that uh, that's just a guess that they think is the next word's going to be. So next word prediction is on by default. You can turn that off and just uncheck those if you don't like those. I don't like next word suggestions. I like it to have the punctuation marks, which will be there instead of next word suggestions. You have gesture input with just the tracing. If you don't like that, you don't have to use it as well, which is obviously the new feature. You have advanced settings as well. You can turn off the gesture trail that shows up when you use the gestures, and you can also turn off the show gesture word if you don't like that as well, and other various ones. But overall, that's just a quick look at uh, the new 4.2 Jelly Bean keyboard from Google on Android. Uh, you'll see there's the punctuation marks that I was talking about as opposed to next word prediction. I could say, hey, space, exclamation point, if I like that. And, uh, I am having fun with this keyboard. Struggling there, I haven't used swipe in a little while, but uh, that seemed to work just fine. But there you have it. That would be uh, just a quick overview of it. You can install it on your own if you have 
uh, issues installing it, let me know your device and I can look into it. No guarantees though because again, um, I don't know exactly what phones this works on and which phone this doesn't work on. But again, let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.